toy fox terrier may be small enough to fit in your pocket, but his spirit is as large as a house. But did you know that a fondness for watching television is considered a breed trait? And that a three-legged toy fox terrier ran for mayor of Jacksonville, Oregon. His campaign slogan was kindness and kibbles for everyone. They're just cute as can be, and they actually will entertain you. They just find a way to make you laugh. Toy fox terriers are one of the few breeds to originate in the United States. It's called the Amer Toy because it's the American toy breed. As terriers, these ratters are natural hunters of vermin and small game. The toy fox terrier was bred to be so small so that they could be carried in the saddle bags um, of people on horseback. And then when they would put them on the ground, they would chase small game. They are descended from the smooth fox terrier, the Italian greyhound, the Manchester terrier, and the chihuahua. Some even think miniature pinchers contributed to the breed. Their hunting dog ancestry explains their intelligence and their natural ability at agility sports. <laughs> Clowns capitalized on this proclivity under the big top. Toy fox terriers can walk a tightrope and jump four feet straight up into the air. As part of the toy class, these smooth-coated, tricolored dogs are small in stature, ranging from three and a half to seven pounds. They measure eight to 11 inches at the shoulders. In addition to their size, the toy fox terrier has three standout traits. They have large bat-like ears. These miniature radar dishes follow all the action and make this pup an excellent guard dog. Next to the ears, the short tail is this dog's second most expressive feature. This is one of the few breeds born with a naturally bobbed tail. Finally, you can recognize this breed by their long spindly legs. Although it accentuates their prancing, this is the toy fox terrier's biggest vulnerability. While this is a sturdy dog, they are very small and they do have frail legs and I would hate to see a child drop a toy fox terrier on the ground. The AKC standard says they have a propensity to watching TV. You know, just keep the remote control away from them, right? Toy fox terriers love attention. Probably more often than not, a toy fox terrier is going to like to play a lot. And when you have a dog that likes to play, you can teach them just about anything. While they can prosper in apartments as well as on farms, they do not like to get wet and are very susceptible to the cold. It definitely is a dog that is comfortable in most climates, except for when it's very, very cold, in which case um, it probably needs a little sweater or a coat. Although they sometimes might need a sweater, don't mistake these dogs for dolls. I do not recommend these dogs for families with children. They are a nippy little breed of dog. This dog likes to be cuddled, so they would work with someone that's elderly or even that's disabled. With their diverse background, they are generally healthy and live an average of 15 years. But there are a few genetic ailments to watch out for. Toy fox terrier can suffer from luxating patella, which is where they have a floating kneecap. They also are prone to skin allergies and to mange. Due to their small size and smooth coat, grooming is a breeze. So in general, this tiny terrier needs special attention in cold weather and has low exercise requirements. Watch out for several genetic conditions when selecting and caring for your toy fox terrier. It's an easy breed that requires minimal grooming. Easy to train and eager to please, they're great trick dogs. While they are not recommended for families with small children, the elderly and disabled would be able to enjoy their low maintenance, playful companionship. I would have to say that Toy Fox Terrier is definitely a dog you're gonna get very attached to. 